I now want to tell you about an alternate way to state Green's theorem using curl. So the usual version of Green's theorem involves a surface R in the xy plane. But now I want to think of this surface R as actually living in three-dimensional space on the plane where d equals zero. So here's our surface R. So it's in the xy plane. It has a boundary curve C. And the usual statement in Green's theorem involves a vector field F on the xy plane. But I'm going to think of this as being a vector field in three-dimensional space where the z component is equal to zero. Also, the surface R has a normal vector. Well, there are different choices you can make. But we could look at the vector 0, 0, 1. So it just goes in the positive z direction. And that's perpendicular to the surface. So we're going to denote this by n. So n 0, 0, 1. So this is a normal vector to the surface R. And now the alternate statement of Green's theorem is that the integral over C of f dot dr, where C is given the positive orientation as the boundary of R, is equal to the double integral over r of curl of f dot the normal vector integrated with respect to area. Why is that? Well, the usual version of Green's theorem has in the integrand um, dq dx minus dp dy. So why is that the same thing as curl f dot n? Well, so what's curl f dot n? So curl f, so it's d by dx, d by dy, d by dz, cross pq0. Now, the normal vector n only has a non-zero component in the z direction. So when I calculate this dot product, I only care about the z component of curl. So the x component is whatever, I don't care. And then the z component is um, d by dx of q minus d by dy of p. So when you dot product this with 0, 0, 1, you get the usual integrand from Green's theorem. Okay, so why am I telling you this? Well, so our goal of what we're going to do coming up is we're going to generalize this to other surfaces in three-dimensional space. So we're going to look at surfaces which are not in the xy plane, which which can be curved. They could be, you know, like spheres or quadric surfaces or other surfaces. And we're going to find a formula which relates the integral of a vector field around the boundary of the surface to something involving the curl over the whole surface. So to prepare for that, we need to talk about um, how do we handle other kinds of surfaces in three-dimensional space and how do we define integrals over them. So that's what's going to come up.